What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2023 Topps Chrome Jumbo 8 box case break. Pikachu's number 15. So here we go, guys. So here's the customer names, guys. So we just slashed the prices on the last three teams. So Michael got the Reds last spot mojo. We sold the Dodgers D Mac. And I believe the uh, um, John got the Cardinals for a little bit cheaper price. All right, so here we go. Again, this is jumbo edition. So obviously three autos per box, only eight boxes in a jumbo case. probably do is rip open the first four boxes and we'll go with the next four. Next one here, guys.
Wow, so we got a couple more spots. Well, it looks like Nick may have posted up the next uh, Top Scrum Jumbo. Nice. And it looks like, too, there's also like a little bit of a repricing. So some teams uh, have gone down in price, too, guys. So that's kind of good. All right, here we go. Some teams may have gone up in price, but I don't think about that much, though. Senga. There's a Volpe. And Nolan Jones. To four ninety nine, Colorado Rockies. That is going to uh, Jason. Brandon Lau. the answer Josh Young and Buddy Kennedy it's the next auto there for the Diamondbacks Sean Maddock Senga Yoshida and then we got a Brewer Hicklin Kansas City Royals, Brandon Hall. NT comes out on uh, Wednesday. Should be fun. I actually don't remember who even won that. Negative Royce Lewis. Xbox. And then Corey Lee refractor to four ninety nine for the Houston Astros. Uh, that's Charles, which is John. We got Hayden. Wazinski for the uh, Chicago Cubs. Salvador Perez, Kansas City. Brandon Lau. 
Riley Green. Adley, Michael Harris, and we got a green Josh Bell. Purple, the Stewie Ruiz to two fifty for Oakland. Oakland is Mark. Cal Mitchell. For the Pirates. Jose Altuve. For Houston. Yanner Diaz. For Houston. John. Orange, John Gray, Jensen. Every year on top spots out here, it's 49 it's between the original card and the Harry's card. Is that supposed to be 50? That's what I would do like 50 and 50 years or something like that. So it's 49. I know with like tops Chrome, they usually do, or tops they do what 35 an year anniversary. It's gonna be crazy 35 years from now. When they'll have the anniversary, it's going to be this one here. It's going to be kind of crazy to see. Michael, Michael Massey. So Heritage, they do 50. I never actually remember what year they use for Heritage. I just know it's more retro. And then obviously Archives, they have like specific ones too. Those are fun breaks too. I like Archives a lot. All right, Adley Rutschman, Refractor. You are correct, yeah, right? So, yeah, that's crazy. So we're almost nearing like those like 80s designs and then eventually 90s, it's gonna be crazy. And Nick Prato. 250. Ooh, look at that.
that negative Volpe. That's sick. That's my first one as a negative, though. Nice one there for the Yanks. Who has the Yanks? Carry. Macias. There you go. They're brothers, right? Josh and Aether? Oh, that's where I remember his name. Bo and Josh. A lot of brothers out there. Will Benson. For the Guardians. John with that one. Michael Harris. Nice Riley Green. I think we're starting to get some bigger names and colors. Um, you know, like I said, Jumbo, you can totally tell it's a lot more different. You know, obviously, you know, you uh, get three autographs compared to one in Hobby, but I, I, I think we've I think seen as many cases as we have. I feel like Hobby tends to be a little bit more better colors and potentially obviously with the autographs you know obviously although you're only getting 12 sometimes the quality of autos can be a little bit better there i'm not saying jumbo can't produce that because i've seen some great jumbo cases but it seems like obviously you know they kind of have to filter in a lot of the a lot of the rookies in here uh, that are probably not the craziest but that was just the first half though guys obviously definitely expect the second half to be a little bit better but let's keep it going guys 1980 will be for everything 2029. That's crazy. No. Time flies, man. Time flies. Four left in that pack, or uh, the pack breaks for uh, that tops Bowman. That looks like that might be going off next. And it seems like we're also moving some spots in the next tops Chrome Jumbo. Some of those super short prints are really tough to pull. I remember we were talking about it, right? There's only so many of those. And uh, the Ultraviolet All-Stars, we pulled some autos with those. I recently pulled Ultraviolet All-Stars auto of uh, two of, uh, of um, Bryce Harper on, on the Fanatics app. Last couple nights though, man. Mike, Mike go on... Uh, Fanatics when I was with him on Wednesday pulled that Super Factor Corbin Carroll 
from Finest Autograph, and then yesterday, with that Top Chrome dual case, pulled that dual autograph of uh, Gunnar Henderson and Adley Rutschman 101 Super Fractor. So we've been pulling a Super Fractor a day, so hopefully we pull another one today here. At some point. Yeah, with the amount of Topps Chrome they make, man. Just, those things are just hiding. Yeah, that was fun, dude. I was telling you, it was good karma for me because uh, usually on Fanatics, I do the first couple three, first couple breaks, and then he does them. But that one day, I just thought, you know, we'll just switch and alternate. You can do the finest break, and then I'll do the next break. And yeah, I ended up playing it super practical. But good for him, though. He's so excited. I have to uh, screenshot and record the, the dual one. That one caught me by surprise yesterday, though. I did not expect it to be there. I didn't expect a redemption, not even a, an auto to be the second card of the box, but... Oh, well, all right. Crazy. Yeah, that was nice. did i seen that right he paid uh people, at first people were saying it was like 2.6 million right but then it ended up being around 2 million which is still ridiculous now that guy that pulled that just cashed in right he actually is very into like um very into mtg and stuff like that right so i remember a couple times he'd be at uh frankenstein's here in la uh very very big uh show that happens like you know three four times a week and uh, they moved locations, but they used to be in this huge warehouse, but now they're like at an, uh, it used to be a, a Sam's Club before, so basically still a big warehouse, but yeah, Frankenstein's obviously, he was there a couple of times, and a lot of people see him. He's like really into it. Yeah. Which is awesome, I mean, obviously, you know, he has the money to, to buy a card like that, so. It's sick. All right, here we go, guys, let's continue on. Yeah, I know a lot of people were looking for that card when it first uh, dropped, right? Tyler Freeman. I'm not sure, obviously, how it works, though, but I'm assuming that there's only one of those in existence, right? So it's, like, essentially, like, a one-of-one. -one. So if you, like, play the game, does that mean, like, you probably automatically... Like, is that, like, the biggest card in the game? Or, or what? Like, I don't remember how the chase was for that. Rafael Devers. Oh, it's la it is labeled one of one. Gotcha. Okay. But there's other like rings like that, right? L like the the L O T R rings, but they're just not one of ones, basically. Gotcha. So yeah, there's a ton of those, but that one was just specifically like the one of one. I was just thinking, like, if they only had one of those in existence, like, wouldn't you think, like, he's, like, wins the game every time? I actually never got into Magic Gathering. Not that I wouldn't ever, but... So then if that one goes for, like, $2 million, what about all the other ones that are numbered, potentially? They gotta sell pretty well, right? Nice Jeter Downs. Okay. Damn. 
That's crazy. Nice one there for Boston. Lair with that one. Nice little uh, Jose Altuve green relic for the Astros. That should be number 1099. Very nice. Nice Trey Turner. I don't think that's a variation though, right? No, it's just the base. Number 350. Uh, we got Travis Swaggerty for the Pirates, Michael Stapleton. Man, there's an old Tani refract. That's 40 bucks right there with the buyback program. So there's three boxes left. One, two. Yeah, we're right on track. Jose Miranda. Let's see if that pack for their sold out. Down to three left. Five left, 22. Three left, 24. Okay. Gold, baby. Come on. Oscar Colas to 50 for the White Sox. Dano with the White Sox. There you go. Nice gold Oscar Colas. So, yeah, it looks like Nick put up another Topps Chrome, guys. And it looks like some of the prices have been repriced. So, it looks like some of them could have gone down. Maybe we got a better price for the cases. So, some teams have gone down. Uh, potentially, obviously, maybe some of the bigger teams have gone up. Who knows? I don't really know so much. But I just noticed a couple teams that... You know, we're priced a little bit more higher, are now a little bit lower. So that shipment just got here today. So this case that we had here was from the original shipment that we've had since last week. So we've basically gone through all of our cases that we originally got, and it looks like we were able to find more. So definitely try to check it out and see if it benefits you guys to potentially get some more. Tops Chrome. Uh, Steel Walker. So not a bad thing. Yeah, yeah, he's been playing overseas for a little bit. I mean, obviously, I'm assuming they still get paid really well. At least he would, so. Obviously, still pursuing his baseball career over there. I figured that's something he had to do, obviously, to kind of maybe showcase his talents in a pretty good league, right, in Japan. Duran. But, uh, you know, everything with everything going down, I'm not sure how it looks for him in the future, though. And Michael took lay a nice mini diamonds. That's a speckle actually. To two ninety nine. Colorado Rockies. Jason with that one. Okay, here we go. Last two. Uh, the green refractor. Woods Richardson the 75. Langliers for the A's to 499. Sosa.
Bo Naylor. Cleveland Guardians. We got a nice blue here of uh, Q. Brian Hayes. Possibly have one more nice auto. Looks like it should be a nice color. And David Villar to 150. Giants. Giants is Emma taken earlier today. Last box. Nice Jordan Diaz to two ninety nine. Purple speckle. Corbin Carroll. Nice Rafael Devers to two ninety nine. Volpe Refractor. Nice. Spencer Steer. For the Reds. Michael Stapleton, Last Ball Mojo. And J1 Bay for the Pirates. Hey, it's probably $40 right now, too, as well. Cunha. All right, so we shouldn't have any more autos, but maybe we can get some nice color here. Maybe a little insert. Short print. Baby. Ooh, red. And it's a Alexis Diaz. A little color match red for the Cincinnati Reds. There we go. And last spot mojo, Michael Stapleton. There you go, man. Nice bit of edit there. Got a steer and a red. Alrighty, folks. Well, I'll top load all these autos right now, but we'll do a quick little recap. What's well, some nice stuff? I feel like one of the bigger ones was Oscar Colas, but a lot of kind of the same players you kind of usually see in most cases. Uh, Prato Purple there, a couple Bo Nailers, Massey, Diaz, Mitchell, Stewie Ruiz Purple. Um, we did get a negative Volpe. Riley Green Color, there's a Jeter Downs, Gold Colas to 50, Villard, and that Red Diaz, but. Definitely have seen better cases. So like I said, obviously that was our last case that we had in stock yesterday, of course, but sold out today. But now we did get a new uh, shipment in of some cases. So now it has been reposted and looks like we may have got it at a better price. Uh, Cause as you can see now, uh, some of the teams could have been uh, priced less higher. So check it out guys, obviously, you know, Dodgers at one point were like 150, 200. Now they're like a hundred dollars. You know, so, so it looks like some teams changed in price. So take a look and, and like I said, get some more of that top from Jumbo going, guys. But uh, appreciate it, guys. Look at the website. We can definitely do a couple more breaks tonight. Thank you so much. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.